What's up, everybody? It's Adam, and welcome to In the News uh, for, I guess, the today, February 6th. Um, kind of some crazy shit going on, uh, and I, I say shit not in the emphatic use to, to make it sound like it's more important, but there's some literal, actual shit happening in the news today. Uh, and that first starts off with this whole Jesse Eisenberg playing Lex Luthor thing. Now, when this was first announced last week, I was actually pretty excited about this. I thought this was a really good move. So far, I've had absolutely no faith that this Batman-Superman movie is going to be anything uh, but a load of gigantic um, team-based horseshit. Uh, and I thought, you know, Jesse, Jesse Eisenberg being added as Lex Luthor was one shining golden corn kernel that sticks out of that turd. And... <laughs> Uh, and I thought that because, you know, he's a really good actor. The idea of Lex Luthor's character is a person who has superior intellect and all these resources and hates Superman because he thinks he's changing the way America views things. Uh, he's always been never a physically domineering person, but somebody who uses his, his brain to get what he wants and to agitate and hopefully one day destroy Superman. So I thought, you know, that's a pretty smart casting. But today, I read a story on IGN sent in to me by my good buddy, Dubs929, who is the only one who demands that I make this show. Uh, but he sent me this 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 headline, uh, Lex Luthor to be a tattooed skinhead street punk. And my, my question for the producers and everybody involved in this Batman vs. Superman movie is, what the fuck are you thinking? And, you know, I, I, I say that as literally as possible. Like, I don't, under, I don't understand the thought process there. I did read the article, and I kind of see where they're coming from. They want to make him street smart and edgy, just like, just like every other hero, I guess, they're trying to make. I don't even fucking know. Um, but but that's, that's the rumors, that he's going to be this street smart, former gang leader, risen to the top of the business world type character. Um, who hates Bruce Wayne also, which that part actually made sense. If he came from the streets, Bruce Wayne came from being rich. I can understand why he hates him, uh, and he thinks he's better than Bruce Wayne, but fuck, this is stupid. Just to pile this onto already the, the, the large pile of turds that are there, um, you have Ben Affleck being Batman, which could be good, could be bad. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably going to be on the bad side. I really hope he resurrects uh, the Batman voice, said no one ever. And then you have this this really uh, skinny person playing Wonder Woman who's usually a full-figured kind of buxom woman. And that's not even that big of a deal, honestly. But the fact that Wonder Woman's being introduced into the Batman versus Superman movie, I, I have no reason to believe that's going to be anything but good. Um, again, said no one ever. And then now there's rumors that uh, The Rock is being cast as the Green Lantern, which may be the smartest thing they do for this movie. Uh, John Stewart, the, the black Green Lantern, the, the, the one that they kind of introduced back in the 60s and 70s, was probably one of the biggest superheroes for the Green Lantern timeline. Um, not as big as Hal Jordan, obviously, but one of the better ones. And I think, you know, that's a really smart way to reboot the character in this movie. But why have him in this movie? Can we just... Can we just stop cluster-fucking everything into this movie? I have currently absolutely zero plans to ever see this movie. Um, I think it sounds like a piece of shit. And it's going to go up against Marvel's movie for that year, uh, 2015, or 2016 I think it is, which is going to be Ant-Man, uh, which I would bet you, even being a really dumb superhero that he is, will probably be a better movie. Uh, but moving on, let's talk about the news from Activision today. Activision had their, I guess, conference call with uh, their investors, and they talked about a couple of things. First of all, uh, Sledgehammer Games, which has been rumored to be developing the 2014 Call of Duty release, was confirmed to be the developer releasing that. So, unfortunately for guys like me who really love Treyarch, um, that's we we have to wait another year, which to be to play possibly a bad game. Um, Ghost was really terrible for me this year. I really don't like it. I there's nothing about that game that's redeeming in my opinion. And so, Sledgehammer developing it could be good, could be bad. I'm gonna hold out till I can see some footage and some other things like that. But really, this could be a really bad move. But it's interesting to note that it is going to be moving to a three-year development cycle for Call of Duty games, which I think in the long run is going to be a good move. Um, as much as I want to play another Treyarch game, I want to play just a good Call of Duty game. And so that trumps everything. Something else that happened in the conference call, though, Activision said, 
Destiny will be the highest selling video game in history. I mean, have you guys seen Titanfall? Like, Activision, have you have you seen Titanfall? And not to say that Titanfall is going to sell better, but this is a really hyped game. You know how much shit I've heard about how great Destiny is going to be in the last two months? Zero things. Zero. I haven't heard anything great about that. And as cool as the game looks, it looks like a Borderlands type game to me. And I feel like if I got it, I would put maybe 30 hours into it. Uh, and then the rest of that time, I would just play other games. Like, I I just don't feel like this is going to be that game for Activision. And so I hope, I hope they don't waste all their money on it. But um, I think you're wrong. And then finally, with Titanfall, there's a couple of stories coming out here. So they announced the beta last week, which is great. People cheered, yay, open beta. But strike one, it's only for Xbox One and PC. Which isn't that big of a deal. Uh, a lot of people are probably going to buy it more on Xbox One and PC than they will Xbox 360. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's there. I was planning on getting it for 360 because that's what most of my friends still have. Um, Strike 2 uh, is that the game itself for 360 is going to be a port. That means it's not going to be the same base game uh, as, as it was for Xbox One. They're going to have to make changes to adjust it to 360, which was not expected. So we'll, we'll, we'll actually say that's like strike one and a half because really it's not going to have that big of a deal. Um, but today they've announced that there is a delay until March 25th for the actual Xbox 360 version. So if you're planning on getting it for 360, um, you're going to have to wait a couple weeks. Sorry, there's no way around that. So without a beta... And the fact that you're going to have to wait a couple weeks, probably not going to be that excited on 360. And speaking of the beta, uh, drama here with that, apparently the beta is not going to be a true open beta. You're not just going to be able to download it and play it. There's going to be a code system. So who knows what's going to happen with that. I think that's a really dumb move after everyone felt left out during the alpha, which, boohoo, it's an alpha, whatever. But hopefully <laughs> they're, they're going to allow for, instead of a few thousand players, millions of players. That's what really needs to be done to this game to give it a stress test, and I, I hope that's the case, but I don't think it will be. Um, and they're not even promising beta codes to everyone who's pre-ordered, so that's a, that's an issue too. But really, guys, that's it for today. That's all that's in the news. Uh, if you have any comments about anything uh, that I've talked about today or think I'm completely wrong about this whole Batman-Superman thing, which I'm sure some people will, let me know in the comments below. I've also included links to all the stories uh, in the description. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, once again, my name is Adam. You guys take it easy.